This is Twit. Real quick, uh, you can read the full review at PC Per, but uh, the important thing about this is that this is this is an Evo drive, and typically those have been compared to the Pro drives, kind of like just a little bit below, but at a more attractive price point. You weren't getting the same write speeds, even if you had some of the same really fast read speeds, and there were various reasons for that. This drive is the 970 Evo Plus. And what the Plus does is basically take you into Pro territory. If you compare this head-to-head -head against the 970 Pro, uh, this has really, really fast write speeds. It takes those fast reads where you're almost saturating PCIe Gen 3, and then you have some really high writes. Not just sequentials. Like, this does really well on, like, random, like, 4K uh, reads and writes as well. So... I mean, you can scroll through and on the review and look at some of the charts. We we expanded a little bit um, back into some of the territory that we've seen in the past. Not qu you know not quite as comprehensive as uh, maybe like a more in depth review would be. This is just like a quick kind of preview review, but just to give you like a look at what this thing can actually do, and it's pretty impressive. We're talking about when you're within that turbo cache range, and that's how these Evo drives kind of work. Like you have sort of a simulated SLC. Uh, cache, like partition of the drive, and once that is exceeded, which you can only really do through really long, sustained workloads, then it kind of comes back down to earth, and you're talking like 1,700 megabytes a second or something, but until then, you're talking about reads and writes over 3,000 megabytes a second. Very impressive. This was the one terabyte version that we tested. Pricing, uh, it, this is not on the market yet. That's the thing. Like uh, mm. the review embargo is up and all these reviews are out for it, but it's not actually in stores, I think, until next month. So right now, what we saw a little bit earlier in the month from Western Digital's brand new high high performance one terabyte drive is somewhere around 299 MSRP 249 Street. So it'll be interesting to see if this competes with that as far as pricing goes. But for a one terabyte drive, and I was looking at... Newegg yesterday at pricing, I think the least expensive one terabyte drive is around $200. Could be wrong about that. Somewhere in that range. I believe it's an Intel drive, like a 660. So we're getting really, really good performance out of these this next generation of NVMe drives. Kind of like it feels like it's at the tail end of PCIe Gen 3. But right. that's kind of what we saw at the end of the SATA uh, heyday is that we just started seeing controllers from almost everyone hitting basically the limits of the interface and where at this point, almost any NVMe drive you pick up is good. Like, yeah, just get one. They're all good. You're, you're not going to have any <laughs> problems. But especially if you can spend a little bit more and get one of these more premium drives. Right. 